Okay, so now we're going to create the particle sparks. And we're going to start uh, using the existing network we have for the soot trail uh, and just reconfigure that to work with the sparks. So we're going to take that and we're going to alt drag to create a second version of the soot trail. And we're going to rename that sparks. Double click to go into there. And here we're going to get rid of some of the pieces we don't need and 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 maybe add some new parts that work for the spark. So we don't need those to attribute create or the or the color. We'll call it, change this to sparks out. Underscore out. And when we go up to the attribute adjust vector, we're just going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to change the amplitude to 1.75, so it's a little bit more, and then we're going to go tab, attribute adjust, attribute adjust vector again. We're going to put another one in there as a pre-process, and we're going to create a constant value to have the particles sort of point up. So what you'll be able to see here is that the particles go up before they fall to the ground. So that's good. So that's a little bit more of what we're going to want out of the sparks. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go tab and put in a attribute adjust float. We're going to put that in the middle there. And in this case, we're going to do the uh, life of the particles. And we're going to do a duration and we're going to do it in seconds and we're going to do a random so it's going to be somewhere between 0 and 1 seconds or we'll maybe go 2 and 4 seconds or the parameters are in frames the parameters are in frames so and uh, we can put a different seed in here we're going to have the seed change so it could sort of agitates it over time. So once we've got that, we can go down into the pop output and we don't need the collision that we had before because the, these ones, because they'll they'll be dying sooner, they won't actually collide. And there we go, we get some sparks sort of coming off like that. And we could uh, lengthen them or shorten them depending on what we need there. The other thing we can do is we can go back up to the geometry level and there's a new uh, node that we can put in here, go tab, uh, spark, trail, put down two nodes and we'll plug into both those nodes uh, to get what we want here. So we're going to go there and we're going to go here and this will give us lines, sort of spark lines coming off instead of just simple points and that gives us more of what we're looking for in the particles uh, in order to create a spark-like like a result. Now if we go tab time shift uh, we're going to do that because right now there's a little gap between the end of the fuse and where the sparks start. So we're going to actually um, just go in here and go dollar f f minus one and so this pulls that the, the sparks a little closer or sorry plus one plus one uh, moves the sparks a little bit closer to um, to the end of the fuse, so it looks like they're coming off the fuse properly. Whereas before, it, it looked like the sparks were a little falling behind. So yeah, so by having this sort of bundled up um, spark trail option, which was uh, you know a, sort of a bundled up tool, there's a whole bunch of things you can do in here to get the look that you want. So for instance, we can say, I want the particles to split. Uh, and how many of them do I want to split? Um, well, I can say, you know, only do 40% of them. And then maybe I, uh, how many splits per point? So I could say, well, you know what, give me four. So every time it splits, give me four new ones. And now I'm getting that sort of sparkly look coming off as we get to the end of the, um, you know, as these, sparklers do their thing. So this gives us a um, 
the next most important effect for this, which is the sparkles, you know, representing the, the, the fuse. So we're going to use the, the flip book to just do a version of this to get a feel for what it looks like uh, before the final shot, before we start adding the, the render effects and so on, and the explosion. And there we go. So that's the lit fuse, getting ready for the, and then they disappear at frame 200, getting ready for the explosion. So there we go.